Hi guys, how are you doing? CryptoMarker here and in this video we're going to take a look at a very interesting ICO called Atheon. So at Atheon everything is based around AI and robotics. So all of that good future stuff. Um, if you want to diversify your portfolio towards th those kind of technologies, this could be a really interesting ICO for you. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you what Atheon is doing, what they're trying to doing, what their partners are, how their team looks like, what the function behind Atheon is and whether or not, not you should invest. So if you enjoy the content, definitely make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below because among everybody who's commenting, I am giving away a small amount of Litecoin each week. Good luck. And the problem that our industry right now is facing that the big companies such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, IBM, Facebook, and so on are right now, of course, offering AI solutions and robotic solutions, but due to the budgets, because it's really expensive still, um, only the big companies can really afford it. And when it comes to the lower or mid tier companies, they're often neglected simply because um, they're too specific, they're, the solutions are too individual and they're lacking a platform. So this is where Atheon comes into play. And I'm just going to take the liberty to read off uh, this little part. So human robot robot symbiosis for creating more jobs. The prominent concern with AI is that robots are taking over and humans are losing jobs. Many people fear that, of course. Atheon's platform introduces symbiosis between humans and robots, retooling the workforce wherein an accredited individual with extensive expertise will help an AI software of robot or robots when they are stuck with a process. Consider the process recruitment machines, robotics and AI can complete 90% of the steps to search recruitment and pre-qualify a candidate to fill a position, cutting down on many hours of human work and reduce of organizational cost. An Atheon specialist can then step in and approve documents that AI is unable to understand, interact and de determine personality fit. Atheon hires miners, so-called AI specialists and AI pilots who are employed all over the world and can work remotely, thus creating a new job market. The future will be augmented human AI, which means robots will need human inputs, inputs for task completion. So it's all about letting robots handle or actually letting AI and robots handle those um, kind of repetitive tasks that humans should not be doing. Humans should, uh, should actually focus more on creative work and the last fine details where only, for example, a human eye or a human hand can actually lead to a result. And it's not about, um, you know, getting rid of the human employees. It's about, uh, making everything a bit more efficient. So Atheon pilots are technicians who are trained to supervise and teleoperate robots, robots all over the world, ensuring proper performance. For example, when a robot has a problem, the AI pilot can tap into the robot, take over control, assist it, and then the robot will ask for permission to continue and they would disconnect. The pilots would be able to earn extra money by operating autonomous vehicles from the comfort of their own homes and here we can see how a project like that could look like so here we see um the atheon robotics working at a blockchain summit i think this was in las vegas we're going to see a video of that later but for example healthcare officials at the united nations have reached out to atheon to create a program that would in a incorporate a base a computer-based questionnaire with software to read facial expressions thus reducing the time and resources it takes to perform beneficial psychological evaluations of refugees seeking assistance the united nation is also exploring ways to train refugee populations as special specialists on the atheon platform so people get jobs people can perform jobs that only as ai pilots that only humans can perform and while helping a company they actually make a great income which is a, in my opinion a fantastic idea it's more of a creating a platform than actually creating the technology because the technology has been in development since seven years and they are already working with it furthermore the master institute of science and technology in abu dhabi is already working with them so um, they introduced a specialized certification program for atheon specialists and pilots into its curriculum so somebody can go there get a certification can become a, a a, um, pilot and then when he's done he is uh, he has a certificate and he can become an official pilot for atheon ro robots 
Other interesting stuff is Roboterra. It's a company that develops creative robotic products and designed to stimulate creative and cultivate creativity and cultivate the next generation of science. So something for children to to basically enable the next generation of scientists to, um, you know, make the AI solutions of tomorrow. And then they also went to India. And this is something that's really heartwarming to see an ICO actually make a platform and um, create a system that is uh, bettering the economy and at the same time um, providing an income for less fortunate people. So it goes like this. So um, during a recent trip to India, the company researched ways to reduce the number of children who are orphaned by enabling mothers to become more self-sufficient via career options. One approach would be for the company to set up a foundation to provide housing, food and childcare for single mothers who would be trained to work as specialists on the Atheon platform. Mothers would be able to keep custody of their children in a stable environment. Eventually, participants' platforms earning could fund the ongoing operations of the program. And they would also, uh, one idea is to, to provide a K-12 education program so the children one day, when they are finished, they could uh, pursue a higher, um, higher employment, higher education, or even become an Atheon specialist. So really glad to see something like that being thought through. There are still a lot, of, even though we're talking about cryptocurrencies and ICOs and investing, you know, there are still people um, out there on the planet that are really less fortunate. And it's just great to see that somebody in the ICOs is basis thinking of something like that. So, of course, when you're investing in an ICO, uh, you want to see what the idea is like, what the team is like, who is working on, on uh, right there. And if they have a functioning product, um, yes, they do. So right here, you can see that at the Bitcoin Miami conference, OK, it was not in Las Vegas, it was in Miami. Um, you can see that they had a robot that was pouring in beer for gas. So you could uh, use the remote control and then do that. Of course, this is like not now something mind breaking, but it just proof that they actually know how robotics work. And even though it looks like a simple process, it's highly complicated to program a robot to do those kinds of movement. Furthermore, we have a robotic parking system that is being developed right now at a small scale, as you can see. So for, this is for me, again, uh, proof that um, Atheon actually knows what they are doing, that they are really developing these kind of things. And also they are in self uh, in autonomous driving. So here you can see, I guess it's Lily called there's autonomous self-driving Jeep. Um, more adventures of Lily and everybody in Atheon can be found on the CEO's Instagram. And one of my favorite videos was uh, this one. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the some of the robotics still need some polishing being done but they definitely know how to handle the robotics. So um, if you want to check out more about the team, I would highly suggest you go on team uh, on Atheon. And here you can see the CEO is Andrew. So this guy has been uh, programming robotics and uh, um, you know artificial intelligence since he was 16, um, so since 12 years. And uh, furthermore, Atheon has been in development since seven years. And the chief strate strategy officer is Ryan Burleson, who's in business development since 23 years. So when it comes to the team, um, a lot of people are in the development team. So you can't see them. You can't see all of them, only their names. But since uh, some of their talents got, uh, you know, for safety reasons and for their own strategic reasons, not all of the developers are listed. But something that's really important to me, something that, that I have asked personally um, at the company is um, about the ERC-20 uh, contract that they provide. So it's an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain which is of course programmed on Solidity. So the programming language of Ethereum and uh, one digit can be enough to cause a, a safety error. And uh, it has been audited, Is it is being audited the whole time. So that's really important of me. But uh, since it's integrated into the Atheon platform, it can't unfortunately be open source. Um, if you want to check out more on uh, the team of Atheon, I would suggest you check out the uh, rich LinkedIn profiles of both Andrew and Ryan. And for further question, go ahead and check out the frequently asked questions tab. So if you are looking for a company that is specialized in AI, robotics and the technology of tomorrow, Atheon might just be something for you. 
I have checked everything and I think that this looks like a promising ICO. For further details, simply check out the link in the description and um, that's how you participate in the ICO. So thank you very much for watching um, and uh, keep in mind that everything in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. I get so many emails every day of projects who want me to do a paid review and uh, most of them definitely get rejected. But with the ones that are serious and that look promising, I do a paid review from time to time. So this was here the case. Hence the um, infomercial text in the upper right corner. So I have to be really transparent about that. And uh, still, I did not have to, I, I'm able to speak my free mind, basically. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And um, see you soon. Bye-bye.